Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Finn, who is overcome with grief, approaches Hope about getting help for her father. Spoilers and speculations from the bold and the beautiful BNB John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, may approach Hope Logan, Annika Noel, about getting some assistance for her father. Deacon Sharp, Sean Cannon, appears to be completely distraught. He tells Finn that the charred body cannot be Sheila Carter, Kimberlyn Brown, since he sees twelve toes on the corpse. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. Ten toes. Finn is concerned about Deacon and can't believe Sheila's death. He claims Deacon informed him that when the body fell into the flames, the sheep blew and he saw ten toes. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. Is Deacon going crazy with grief? Finn asks Hope about getting help for her father. Finn is aware that Sheila had nine toes. They used one of her toes to identify her DNA when she pretended to be killed by a bear while hiding in a Montana cabin. The crematorium was unable to halt the process, thus the corpse is simply ashes, and the crematorium operator arrived too late to witness what Deacon claimed he saw. Hope is concerned when Finn tells her this and is unsure what to do it sounds like her father is literally insane with grief for Sheila. Finn and Hope now wish they had gone to the crematorium with Deacon to help him process Sheila's death, since that he claims it wasn't Sheila in the casket. B&B Spoilers John Finn Finnegan isn't sure he could have handled watching. Finn isn't sure he could have managed seeing anyone's body in the oven, let alone someone he knew regardless of who it was. That's why he didn't go, and the same goes for Hope. She didn't think she could face the horrible sight. It is difficult to retrieve DNA from ashes, though it can sometimes be obtained from teeth or bones. However, because the person was entirely incinerated, this may not be possible. If DNA could be taken from the ashes, Finn would gladly provide some of his for matching. That may be the only thing that brings Deacon some closure. Hope feels that it's terrible for Deacon to believe. He saw ten toes in the oven and is unable to accept Sheila's death. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. How can they best help Deacon Sharp grieve? Finn and Hope got together to figure out how they might best assist Deacon grieve and find closure Finn believes he needs expert help. He would gladly send him to a bereavement support group that meets in the hospital, which he has previously referred survivors to. He understands that loss may affect people in a variety of ways, and that many people believe their loved ones' ghosts stalk them but this is different. One thing is certain, the body was unquestionably Sheila's, otherwise it would not have been discharged from the morgue. If anyone had any doubts, why didn't they examine the corpse's feet or count her toes? Deacon's disturbing phone call. The bold and the beautiful B&B spoilers for Tuesday, April 9th, show that Paul Hollis Hollister, Hollis W. Chambers, requested updates from Deacon Sharp Sean Cannon on how the memorial went. When Hollis questioned Deacon, he appeared shaken and admitted he wasn't feeling well. When Deacon was alone again, he wondered if he was seeing things or if there were ten toes on that body. If there were ten toes, it couldn't have been Sheila Carter, Kimberlyn Brown. At the Cliff House, John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, told Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline McInnes Wood, that he found some solace at the memorial and confirmed that Hope Logan, Annika Noel, was also present to support Deacon. Finn was surprised by how much Deacon cared for Sheila during the service. Finn stated that Deacon was struggling to accept Sheila's absence, but Steffi had little sympathy for the guy who fostered the fugitive. Finn thanked Steffi for allowing him the opportunity to face what he had lost, so she stated that Sheila had not come between them when she was alive and would not do so now. After reflecting on all of their accomplishments, Finn and Steffi decided they no longer needed to be concerned about Sheila. When Deacon called and summoned Finn back to Ayel Giardino, he explained that it was an urgent matter concerning Finn's birth mother. Steffi wasn't happy about Finn leaving and wanted to be done with the Sheila issue, but he pointed out that this might be the last time they had to talk about her. Finn arrived with questions after Deacon had finished his drink and considered Sheila's chances of survival. Finn encouraged Deacon to take a deep breath and reminded him that it was normal to be upset after such an intense memorial. However, Finn felt compelled to put Sheila behind him for good, if only for Steffi's sake. Finn insisted that it was time to let go after Deacon had done everything he could to give Sheila a respectful send-off. Finn understood how difficult it was to accept Sheila's death, so Deacon spoke up and asked what if she wasn't. 
Finn seemed perplexed when Deacon suggested what if the lady he witnessed being cremated wasn't Sheila. At Forrester Creations, Hope Logan Annika Noel held a critical meeting with Zen Forrester Dominguez, Delon de Metz, Luna Nozawa, Lisa Yamada, and R.J. Forrester, Joshua Hoffman. After stating that she required them to band together in Thomas Forrester's, Matthew Atkinson absence, Hope indicated that she wanted Luna to collaborate closely with Zend on the line. Zend had more experience than RJ and was a more seasoned talent at Hope for the future. Thus Hope wanted him to take over now that Thomas had left. Hope believed Luna could absorb all of Zend's wisdom and hinted that Zend had many secrets to impart. Luna was uneasy as she exchanged hesitant glances with Zend. After Zend and Luna left for the design office, Hope chatted with RJ alone, hoping she hadn't caught him off guard with her news. RJ stated that Hope was the boss and that he understood what she wanted. Hope reassured RJ that he would continue to work with Luna, but she also predicted that Luna's time with Zend will benefit her future. On Tuesday's BNB show, Zend inquired about Luna's well-being and expressed surprise that Hope would want them to collaborate so closely. Luna wanted to help, but she was concerned that the night she spent with Zend would complicate everything. However, Zend contended that there was no reason for such to interfere with their business relationship. Luna eventually admitted she couldn't go to work since the secret was eating her up inside. In the end, Luna insisted that RJ should know the truth. According to the bold and the beautiful spoilers, Luna will begin her confession later this week. But will she really reveal her accidental drugged hookup with Zend? Deacon insists Sheila not cremated Finn pushes for mental help. The bold and the beautiful B&B spoilers for Wednesday, April 10th show that John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, will fail to grasp what Deacon Sharp Sean Cannon is saying. After summoning Finn to I.L. Giardino, Deacon persuaded him to examine the idea that Sheila Carter, Kimberlyn Brown, had not died after all. Deacon recounted the person he witnessed being cremated and wondered if it wasn't Sheila. Of course, there hasn't been any mention of the Ten Toes yet so Finn has no understanding why Deacon would think so. On Wednesday's BNB episode, Deacon will describe how the sheet flew back, revealing those shocking feet at the cremation. Deacon can't believe it was Sheila's body because the corpse had all of her digits. However, Deacon may concede that the evidence was lost because he was unable to halt the cremation in time. Finn will assume that Deacon's grief is driving him insane once he hears the latest updates on his wild story. Finn will believe that Deacon requires mental health treatment, so he may encourage Deacon to seek therapy while also attempting to accept that Sheila has died. Although Finn will not believe he can be the one Deacon talks to about all of this, Deacon will encourage Finn to actually listen to what he is saying. Deacon's ten toes are haunting him now, so he'll stick to his claims and remind Finn that Sheila has already cheated death. Finn will feel unsettled when he exits the dinner since Deacon is still convinced that Sheila is alive. Deep down, Finn may realize Deacon is correct about Sheila's cunning and capacity to recover from even the most improbable situation. Even if Finn doesn't accept it yet, he may seriously contemplate the possibility that Sheila had a lookalike who died that night. According to other bold and the beautiful teasers, Luna Nozawa, Lisa Yamada, will discuss her confession decision with Zen Forrester Dominguez, Delon de Metz, who may question her commitment to telling RJ Forrester, Joshua Hoffman, the truth. Luna doesn't think she can bear the guilt anymore, especially now that Hope Logan, Annika Noel, has asked her to collaborate with Zend on her design company. This hope for the future dilemma is pushing Luna too far, so she feels it's time for RJ to learn about the special mints and hallucinations that led her down Zend's passionate road. According to the bold and the beautiful spoilers, Luna intends to reveal devastating news to RJ, so we'll have more guesses on whether she'll follow through.